In this video, I'll be demonstrating uh, how to do a clustered bar chart for a scale variable. The last video was about a clustered bar chart when you have two categorical variables. But uh, when do you have a scale variable, how do you sort of, uh, uh, when you have a scale variable and two categorical variables, how do, we, how do you do a clustered bar chart? Many times a clustered bar chart is also known as a double bar graph. Uh, the nomenclature aside, uh, clustered bar charts have become very, very important uh, to understand uh, uh, what is the average, uh, what is the average spend, let's say, in a grocery uh, data set, right? If you have a retail, uh, if you're working on retail data set and such things, you might want to compare what is the spend uh, of uh, those people who have a coupon uh, and those people who do not have a coupon. You might want to further break it down based on gender or uh, healthy food, non-healthy food and such things. I have a very, very interesting uh, data set. So this data set is known as grocery underscore one month, file open data, grocery underscore one month dot sat. Very interesting data set. As you can see here, you have uh, the store ID, you have a healthy food. It is broken down into no and yes. Then you have the size of the store that is uh, medium sized, large sized and uh, also you have a small size. Organization, if you just see, some of them emphasize Delhi, others do not emphasize any uh, uh, Delhi items. There is no emphasis of uh, Delhi Katasin and uh, some of them emphasize uh, produce and such things. Customer ID uh, is given to you, that's fine. You have gender, who is he shopping for? Very important variable. Is he shopping uh, for himself? Is he uh, shopping for uh, self and uh, family? Is he shopping for his spouse, uh, self and spouse? Vegetarian or not, that information is given. And uh, finally, you have uh, shopping style. Very, very interesting variable because it's broken down into three groups, bi-weekly and bulk. Some of them uh, buy uh, these items twice a week and they buy in bulk. The second group of people buy weekly and they tend to buy similar items. And you also have those people who buy uh, weekly and uh, who buy similar items. Uh, last but uh, one, what you have is uh, coupon usage. Some of them use coupon for mailings, others from newspapers. You have the third set of people who use both. From both. And you have the fourth set of people who use none. Now, I'm very, very interested in this variable shopping style and amount of money spent. Now, you can do a simple bar chart, but I want to layer it within gender, right? Within shopping style, there are three groups. I want to break down each of these groups uh, with respect to males and females and then compare what is the amount of money spent. How do you do this? You can just click on graphs, choose the last of the option here, legacy dialogues it displays a host of items you can just choose the first option bar within this you have three items here simple bar chart clustered bar chart stacked bar chart i think the preview itself tells you the story here uh, you see a blue bar uh, uh, next to a green bar so that sort of tells you that we are doing a clustered bar chart i don't need to split up into three parts on the same graph I'm looking at a clustered bar chart wherein I can compare between two groups. Let me choose define. Okay. I have got category access. What I will be doing here is shopping style is what I intend to choose as category uh, access. The clusters would be based on gender. Uh, what you need to do here is amount of uh, money spent is a very important variable. You can choose the variable mean and you can choose amount of money spent right so you have got a uh, mean spent uh, across each of these shopping styles and you will be using a bar chart corresponding to males and females so let's just look at uh, how it comes up let me just click on okay wow. so you can just see here uh, in the x-axis you have bi-weekly uh, customers who shop bulk in bulk when i say bi-weekly as the name itself suggests they shop twice a week and then i've got weekly uh, customers who come uh, every week and they tend to purchase similar items and then uh, i see customers who come often whatever is on sale they buy it right 
the blue bar here it corresponds to males and the red bar corresponds to females as far as bi weekly customers are concerned bi weekly male customers are spending in excess of 400 dollars however when you look at bi weekly female customers they are spending close to 350 dollars so clearly bi weekly male customers tend to be bigger spenders as compared to bi weekly female customers let's look at weekly customers again the blue bar the blue bar uh, is at a larger height. The blue bar is uh, longer as compared to the red bar. The blue bar corresponds to men, which means that male weekly customers on an average spend more as compared to female weekly customers. Now look at the last of the groups here, often what's on sale when it comes to male customers and female customers, there's hardly any difference between the two. So it gives a great insight as to whom to target and uh, how, uh, whom to target and whom not to target. This is fine, but if you uh, want to show a different depiction of this, what you can do is you can just double click on this, right? I'll just maximize this window. And uh, I have got a vertical bar chart. Now, what if I want to sort of show a horizontal bar chart? You can see an option here. If you hover the mouse there, it says transpo uh, transpose the chart coordinate system. Let me just uh, choose this. Very, very interestingly, you can see here $400 and more than that, you can get from the blue bars that is corresponding to weekly. Males who are weekly customers and males who buy bi-weekly are the ones who spend $400 or more. The rest of the bars are not as profitable as these two, right? Now, one very, very interesting thing that you can possibly do is you can show the labels as well. How do you do this? Just choose this option, which is called as data label mode. The moment you choose this option and click on each of the bars here, what you see is uh, the labels being displayed. So you have a clear cut idea who is spending how much, right? As uh, I've told you earlier, weekly customers, male weekly customers tend to be the biggest spenders. And male bi-weekly customers uh, are second in the list because they spent $413, right? So this is a great way of showing the graph and pulling out the story from the data set. So what I'll do here is uh, I'll just close this chart window. I will go back to the data editor window. Now I've used this variable bi-weekly. Now, let us look at uh, organization type here. That is, some organization emphasize uh, delicatessen, some do not emphasize, right? So what I'll do is I'll go to graphs. I'll choose the option uh, legacy dialogues. Here, as before, I'll choose bar chart, right? I'll continue with a, a clustered bar chart. I'll choose the option define. I'm not interested in shopping style. I'll have to remove shopping style. And instead of shopping style, I can choose uh, this particular variable, right? Which variable is this? This is a variable which is organization. So store organization. So let me just uh, look at this and choose, okay? Now, again, you see some kind of a difference here. The x-axis corresponds to the four categories that are present to store organization. Emphasize produce, emphasize delicatessen, emphasize bakery items, and no emphasis. Consistently, you see the blue bar outperforming, uh, the blue bar, which is always uh, bigger as compared to the red bar, which means that, again, here men tend to spend more on these items as compared to their female counterparts. So when you emphasize produce, again, men tend to be bigger spenders. When you emphasize delicatessen, again, men tend to be bigger spenders. When you emphasize bakery items, again, the blue bar is outperforming the red bar. So this gives you another perspective about uh, what is happening as well as this particular data set. Now, there's a very interesting option here, which is called as re recall recently used dialog. So let me just choose this option. The old setting will come in, uh, will be displayed. Let me just kick this variable out because I've already used this particular variable. Now, shopping style, right? Now, we have already used shop, shopping style. How about using uh, coupons, right? Uh, let me just uh, choose this particular uh, variable, coupons, and choose, okay? 
this is the previous uh, graph. Now, this is what I am able to see, right? What I intend to do is I'll just quickly double uh, click on this. I will transpose this, right? If you're interested in uh, showing the numbers on uh, each of this, you can just click on this particular option, data label mode, click on each of the bars here. You can see what is the average spend for each of this. Very, very uh, uh, informative uh, option here. As far as coupon usage is concerned, you can see here, there are one set of people who uh, use coupons from mailings and second from newspapers, right? You can see a big, big bar corresponding to mailings. That's almost 453, right? So people who use coupons from mailings, they tend to be big spenders. Equally, I can say people who use uh, coupons from both, that is mailings as well as newspapers, they tend to be the biggest spenders of the lot, spending almost, almost spending approximately $474. And the least spenders here would be 338, that is females who use coupons. Great perspective when you have two categorical variables and one scale variable, uh, <clears throat> horizontal bar chart. Uh, with this, uh, we come to the end of today's uh, presentation. I'll be seeing you in my uh, next video. I request you uh, to... Uh, uh, Press the like button. I request you to subscribe to my videos. Thank you very much for your support.